Hey, hey, welcome to Kitchen Sink University. I'm Casey Rochford, and this is going to be another cooking class. Every red blooded American loves burgers, right? Well, have you ever had a boiled burger? Stick around. All right, so why don't we get down to the class? Uh, I'm going to show you how to boil a hamburger, uh, in this case, a cheeseburger. You don't boil the cheese, spoiler alert. Anyway, um, it's, it's a little unusual. You don't usually hear about people boiling burgers, um, but it, uh, here's, here's a little geeky sciencey thing. Fat is hydrophobic. So if you're boiling the hamburger, instead of all the fat just seeping out as you're frying it up it kind of stays in there and plumps up the patty and gives it a little juicier end product it takes a little longer because you have to slow boil it so it doesn't just fly apart but um why don't i walk you through uh what goes into boiling a burger so we're going to start with a little bit of egg just coat the bowl uh Garlic, seasoning, salt, and the beef, of course. I like a leaner beef. And then some oats. Uh, that kind of ties it all together. Uh, gives it a little more consistency. And, um, and then, of course, the bun and uh, cheese and a tomato. You can add lettuce if you like, but uh, I, I find it gets wilty on hot stuff, so I tend to leave it off of burgers. So we're going to start by bringing a few inches of water to a boil. But um, while we're waiting for the water to boil, let's go ahead and crack that egg into a mixing bowl. And um, egg, and, you know, the yolk and the albumin, or the egg white. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a biologist. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, coat the bowl. Uh, just roll it all around in there. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and, and discard pretty much all of it, except for you know, the little bit that's lining the bowl now. And really all we're using this for is to uh, hold everything together, give it a little bit of stickiness uh, when we're making the patty. Uh, any, anything to hold it together while it's boiling is, is a good idea. So we're gonna go ahead and cut in to our packaged beef here. Uh, this is good for four servings, which yeah, is, a, is about about right, I guess. Uh, sometimes it, those serving sizes seem really tiny. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and also add uh, a little bit of uh, chopped garlic. Just uh, give it an, a nice garlic flavor. Um, you, you can add any manner of spices you want, really. Uh, you can get creative. Throw whatever you want in there. I'm just I'm just going basic here. A uh, little seasoning salt. Um, I think in in the past I've gone and done some stuff like oregano and things like that. Uh, and then we'll do about half a cup, maybe even a little less, of oats. And then all you're gonna do at this point is just mix it together really well. Uh, if your water starts to boil a little too much, you want to turn it down just to kind of like a slow simmer. And let's go ahead and mix that meat up. All right, let's go ahead and roll a meatball, which will then flatten out in the palm of our hands to create the patty. And we want to try to get it to cover, you know, the, the surface of, of your palm. Um, I, I know everyone's hands vary in size, but, you know, use your judgment. Flatten it out a little bit. And then 
the perfect amount of boiling is just, just a few bubbles. Just a few bubbles in the water. Uh, you don't want it roiling. And then you gently place the patty in there. Uh, it should fully submerge right, right at the beginning. It's, it's not going to stay submerged, and you'll see why. So uh, let's go ahead and put, a, put together another patty. Put that one in the, uh, in the other pot and get a couple burgers boiling. So they've been cooking a while. You can see it's starting to brown a little bit. It's plumping up. I'm gonna keep it about medium heat right here because there's not a whole lot of activity in the water. And you see these bubbles starting to form now. The, the boiling is starting to come back. So adjust the heat here and there. So notice how the patty is plumping up. It's and, there, and there's not really a lot of fat in the water. It's probably a good time to start getting the condiments ready. So I'm going to go ahead and slice up some tomato. And let's go ahead and check, getting close to the 10 minute mark here. Let's take a knife and kind of cut into it. See, there's a lot of juices coming out. You, you kind of don't want to see too much red in that juice, but the brown is okay. Um, so let's go ahead and very gingerly turn it over. Might, might take a finger to help. Um, make sure you wash your hands. We're going to do that here as well. Starting to get some good bubbling here. There's a little bit of fat in the water now, you can see, but that's just because we checked it. Put the uh, frying pan on medium high heat. And once the burger is about ready, I'm gonna go ahead and you know, give them a little squeeze, see what kind of color the, the juices are, and then uh, very carefully bring them out of the water onto the uh, frying pan. So, so basically, what we're doing here is just a real quick sear, boiling off some of the water. Um, you can see it sizzling there. And we're just going to do, you know, 30 to 60 seconds on, on this side, flip it over, do about the same, then add the cheese and just kind of wait until the cheese melts. And that's when we're going to call it good. And as that is beginning to melt, we can go ahead and pull the other patty out of the water and get that going. That one was a little thicker, so it's taken a, a slightly longer time to uh, get to the proper temperature. But I think it's done now. Let's go ahead and pull it on out. And the same process. Sear it on one side, flip it over, and sear it on the other side, and apply cheese. Now this one's about ready, so we'll go ahead and place it on the bun. And let's add that slice of tomato, and uh, voila. There you have it, boiled burgers, boiled cheeseburgers, actually. But uh, it's, it's actually a, a really good way to um, maintain some flavor in the burger. Um, you could experiment with uh, adding some things to the water, some flavorant, if you will, um, steak sauce or uh, other uh, spices. To the, to the actual boiling water, make, make kind of a broth out of it. You could experiment with beef broth even, uh, or a beef broth and water mixture, perhaps, uh, to save a little money. Uh, so there's, there's really a lot, of, a lot of ways you could play around with this. Um, take a burger to the next level, make it a little more interesting. Uh, it does take a little longer. Uh, you can't just 
throw a whole bunch of things on the barbecue and walk away for a few minutes. It's, it's a little more hands-on, but I think you'll enjoy the flavor. So why don't you give it a try? Let us know what you think. Uh, if you have any improvements to it, feel free to share them and uh, class dismissed.